Hello, I'm the Wacky Musician, and today we're going to take a look at whether you can build working drums out of Legos, and other percussion instruments as well. So, obviously the answer is yes, or we wouldn't be doing this, so let's take a look. So your basic drums here are pretty simple to make. They're simply uh, large rectangles with plates on, technically on bottom, but this is being used as the top. So this is technically upside down by Lego standards. It was built this way. The tops of the bricks are here, and then flipped over and played, Oops, plates coming off flipped over and played here. See, it makes a nice boom sound. Now, to construct this, then, is really simple. You just need to make a rectangle, put a couple holes here near the top to let it really vibrate well. So you don't need step-by-step, step, let me get into the light, you don't need step-by-step step instructions for this. You just need to build a large rectangle with plates on top, open on the bottom, and a couple holes around the top for vibration. So that's the largest one. Here we have a medium-sized one. Medium being relative, it's a lot smaller than that one. And it's the same concept, it's open on the end, built upside down essentially, being played on Lego side would be the bottom, but it becomes the top of the drum. So the concept's exactly the same, a couple holes around the top. Just build a rectangle, and you got yourself a little drum. It's best in this spot. And here we have a little tiny one. Oops, I just broke a piece all of it. The concept's exactly the same. Build a rectangle straight up from a plate with a couple holes at the top. And see if we can get more light on it. Here we go. It's part of the secret in playing these is I hold them from the opposite side, my hands, thumbs inside the hole that you're going to play on. That leaves this side free to vibrate. Did that with that one. Did that with this one. Obviously did not entirely do that. Obviously did not entirely do that with this one. It's just too big, but it's actually sitting across my arm. I'm holding it here and playing it on the opposite side. The uh, thing you got to be aware of, they are Legos, so after playing a while they do start to pull apart, so you have to keep an eye on that. They're not good for very long plays. In fact, during the filming of the Lego Brick Machine I had some problems with the middle drum just completely falling apart. Got one more here to show you. This is the tambourine, or tambourine stick is more accurate. This one not quite as simple, though not that complicated, so I'll go through it in more detail. That's backwards. <laughs> actually surprised how much it does actually sound like a tambourine. So let's take a closer look at that one. Oops, a piece fell off. <laughs> and it's a little more fragile. Alright, so let's take a closer look at how to build this. The tambourine, or tambourine stick. It's actually overall pretty simple. Let's start with these. Each one of these, except for the last one, we'll talk about this one, it's a little different. Each one of these consists of, if we pull it apart, we've got a little lander piece here. It's not focusing well on that. Let me pull back. But if you don't have that, you just need something. You can stick one of these little posts through. So notice, this is the side that's made to stick into a brick. That's not what we're doing. We're sticking the pole into the hole, like that. And then you just need to put stuff in between in order to make a rattle. Now these work great if you have these little radar dishes. But mainly you need stuff with holes in it. So I put this four brick with three holes down the middle hole. Put this next, facing that way. And then put a single brick with a hole. Well, technically two across with a hole. And then plug it into the little lander thing. Or whatever you have. If you don't have that, you might need to go into a hole and have a piece to hold it in. But if you do have that, that works great. And then make sure it's loose enough that they can shake. And that one's a little tighter than I want. The more it can move, the more sound it'll make. So each one of these is exactly the same, different colors, because I didn't worry about colors. These are all exactly the same as that. Now the fourth one is a little different. Get that out in there. And its difference is so it doesn't fall apart over there. So the concept up here is the same. We've got, I'm using propellers on this one, we've got three pieces and one of these whole pieces pushed into that to make the rattle. What's different is that you'll see I have a piece through here that's sticking into this to help hold it together. And behind it, are some of these little round pieces that have holes in them. So you can see the pole is right through that. And that plugs into the piece here, and that holds it all together. All of these are seated, let me take that off, on these little angled pieces. See that? So they're mounted across the brick like that. That's wrong. <laughs> Ignore me. I gotta put this back together first. So that goes through there. And that goes in there. And they're mounted. I gotta get this piece that's holding that on. They're mounted like this. And this one has the extra piece over because it falls off easier. 
So that was just to make that stronger. The rest of these are right here. You'll notice they have bricks over them to hold them in place. And the HP clicks on there. We take the bricks off here. Oops, that one just completely fell. The original three here. And see, these are actually plates because these pieces are flat. So there's a, see if I can get that up. Oh, that's a big long piece. There we go. So you need, you need a piece in between those, flat piece, to bring up to height. And then I'm laying a piece over it to hold it down. That's what's holding those on good. And then another piece to bring it up to height. And then I lay bricks over that in order to make that stronger. And then this piece just went off to make it longer and gives it a place for me to tap it on. So that's basically how you construct that. Now there is also the Lego Maracas. I've already done a video on that, so I'm just going to give you a card here that links to that. And you can see how to make that from there. But let's see a speed build of the large drum.
And there you have it. Large drum.